What's going on, good people? <coughs> Excuse me. You know what it is. Your boy M.I. Corleone. And I'm um, live here. Just to learn as you grow podcast. And um, it's really like episode two. Um, the first season was like a pilot episode. But um, now we're getting focused. We're finally um, on our job. So with that being said, um, a lot of people was on. Um, you know, commenting on, on the Span for Span show that um uh, the man my man AK did and um uh, they're saying like who are we to um you know judge their tracks. Let me let me let me explain something. Uh, um there's people like my man Kid said, it's people that's locked up right now that's better than Jordan. But they didn't see, they didn't get that break. You understand? So just because um you don't make it to this level don't mean you can't compete with the people that sit at this level. So I just wanna let that be known. And if anybody thinks they can compete with me, we can compete live in Philly. Um <laughs> I'm everywhere. Um we can do it however, you know, we get we got Sell some tickets. We got to uh, do it for charity, however you want to do it. But um, I ain't even been writing. I just been straight straight going. Um, trying to get this EP done by Valentine's Day. Um, but, oh, yeah, before I forget, subscribe and like like this, gentlemen. man. If you want Spotify, give it five stars for me, man. That's all I'm asking. You know, if you want to um, subscribe, so that's another thing. Um, if you want to subscribe, you can also um, hit me up. And that's um, right on the Spotify app. And um, what is it? I think it's two ninety nine a month. And you'll get all the, um, basically all the new new tracks that come out and all that. So, yeah. Um, with that being said, um Kind of get right into it. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beatstars.com. Beatstars.com. Backslash. Excuse me. Beatstars.com. Backslash. Beats by the kilo. All right. Beats are on sale right now for five dollars. Go and get them. Go and get them while they're hot. Because... These are beats that I'm done with. It's a new year. These are all the beats from uh, 21. Um, a lot of good stuff happened in 21. A lot of crazy stuff happened in 21. And um, I guess first, um, I'm going to talk about how the subscriptions are going to go. So when you subscribe, um, usually I'll put out, I'm going to put out an episode a week. Um, give or take a couple weeks. Don't don't crucify me if um you wake up on Thursday morning and it's not there. So um, but anyway, give or take, I'm gonna be recording every week, and I'm gonna have two or three extra episodes that you can only um get to if you subscribe. You pay the two ninety nine a month. It's nothing. It's really I mean, what do you get a boy on the corner? Seriously, the boy that stands on the corner, what do you give him? I entertain you. All right, let's just look, break down some of the numbers just from December. All right? Now, my YouTube channel was watched for 55 hours. 55 hours. Um, you know, and that's why it's called the Learn As You Grow podcast because... One thing about that is you can't compare yourself to others now. All right, you might be thinking like, all right, he got 55 hours of content and um, people, you know, listen or watch for that long, whether they listen to the beats or if they um, or if they watch the, whatever the content. But what I'm saying is for 55 hours, somebody watched what I did for the month. So, matter of fact, 17,000 people did. 17,000 unique unique viewers. So, with that said, anybody that wants to run ads on the, um, the podcast, hit me up. 
Um, it's for the low right now. And um, we could do a little deal right now for a month, two months, and uh, you never know. Um, two months from now, this might be the hottest thing out. So you never know. But anyway, with that being said, uh, hit me up, M I Corleone at beatsbytekilo.com. And um, beatsbytekilo.com will be relaunched again on January 1st. It's up right now. Um, but we're doing it all over. We're we going to figure this whole thing out. So, um, what else we got to talk about? Oh, um, mm. All right. So, the Spam for Spam podcast. I haven't been doing it because people are so sensitive. I started that because I figured I send my beats out to people and I want them to listen to my beats, right? So I started listening to some artists that were sending me some. And I said, instead of me just doing it regular, let me just, you know, bring somebody in the whip. It was, I had, the concept was crazy. We were in the back of one of my whips and you know, it just looks crazy. We got the, you know, the Maybach style. You know, you know how we already do it. But anyway, um, and the concept was dope. But then people hit me up like, "Yo, who is you?" This that, and the third. Look, if you can't handle that, then you couldn't have handled it back in the day. I'm 36 years old, but I got 25 years in the game. I don't even like to say that shit. Because then people think, like, it's 25 consecutive. Like, what the fuck was you doing all that time? Dang, I'm cursing in the first five minutes. Dang. But anyway, they, they think, like, what, what was you doing in that time? So, um, I told them, it wasn't a consistent 25. It's just trying to go with this rap stuff. Understand that I started as a rapper when I was 11 years old. Um, we formed a group. Um, my man, my man Kashim, he's going to be on that episode soon. Um, even if I got a drag anymore in here, it's like, nah, that's, that's my brother. Um, no matter what, um, me and Kashim met in sixth grade. Um, from there, you know, a little, we formed a bond and, um, we, we started a group. The crazy thing about me and Kashim, and when I get him on the podcast, we're going to speak a lot more on it. Um, the crazy thing about me and Kashim and the whole situation is that, all right, so when, I think I told you guys already, um, you guys and, and girls, um, women, that, I lost my whole train of thought, let me bring it back. So, I already told you guys that, um, you know, me and Kai, we started the group. And, uh, you know, this was a time where um, me, my sister, and my mom were living in my, my aunt's basement over in Jersey. And um, just so, basically, so me and my sister can go to school over there. So, you know, try to get out of the city, try to, try to start a new life. Uh, that's what my mom was trying to do. My dad stayed in the city, though. So, um, my dad would never leave the city. <laughs> He's just there. But anyway, um, so, when we started the group, we both met each other in sixth grade, but he was from 31st in Tennessee. And I'm from 29th in Ward. All right. Anybody who knows, From back in them days, um, the racism was at an all-time high. About when I was 11 years old, around 96. Um, this one, Farrakhan marched through the whole break. Um, you know, and it was just like, I don't even think it was, it was more of a um, skin color thing. I think it was just like, they put us both in the hood and they just pinned us up against each other. Like, 
And, you know, um, they, they put us in different schools, pretty much, um, you know, and let's just keep it real. They, they, they put, you know, the black folks in, in worse school and it's just, is what it is. That's it. But me and Kai, we met in Jersey and we, we started playing ball really together and, um, we found out he was from Philly. I'm from Philly. And like, yo, he's from there. Mind you, we're both going to Philly, like, after school and on the weekends and all that. And there's, there's riots going on. And and I'm, we're looking at each other like, oh, shit. Like, because we're in school rapping and shit together. Like, so, um... It just was very frowned upon. Uh, and hip hop brought us together as the, as far as, I'm talking about the whole neighborhood, because apartment, um, talking about the whole neighborhood, because pardon me, so, um, Cause it was just like, all right. After that, I remember me and Kyle was at a football game, and you know they had they used to have the football games right there on 29th and Tesky. Told you I'm from 29th and Warren, but around that age of like 12, 13, everybody started heading up towards Tesky because it was just more people up there. They had the store right there, and it was just a better scenery. But from when I was allowed off the porch, when I was like four or five, whatever, um, I was always, um, always, shoot, always, um, down Wharton Street. But, so anyway, now, we're in the middle of this riot, riots and all that, so, I wasn't even with it. I ain't even want to go to um, Philly really no more like that. I just wasn't on that time. I was on some hip hop time, and I was I was just raised different. You feel me? Than um, a lot of people, and you would think it to be the opposite, cause my mom. Shout out to her. She witnessed her brother get killed back in like '76, when she was like 13, and um over some racism stuff. And you would think that she would hold um, resentment. You know, the dude only, he only got five years, you know, due to um, kill my uncle Franny. Rest in peace, my uncle Franny. Uh, you know, they got, they, they wrote books about this story and all that, but um, it goes so deep so whereas though uh, the whole neighborhood would um would just be involved in it. And I chose to step away at a very young age. Now, there was some other stepping away, but they were female. Um it wasn't too many dudes that was, you know what I mean, going away, you know, stepping up like dude, they on that side, like, I'm not with that. But what I found out is it was more black folks that just, they weren't even on that. They weren't on that type time. Like, it was just, like, I, don't, I, I didn't understand why, like, it seemed like. And I'm not going against my own kind at all. You know, I just never understood why it seemed like they hated them. For, I don't know why, but they really didn't hate them. Like, and they were the ones that should have hated them. <laughs> but anyway, um, we started to call PFL, Players for Life. This was around the time when uh, Mason. Puffy and the locks just came out. So 
at this time you had to record demo tapes. <laughs> remember demo tapes. I remember it was cassette tapes. Um and um you would basically what I would do is I would at first just have the regular um thing you do you just press record. I had to somebody's instrumental playing in the background. Try to rap to it. I remember the instru first instrumentals I had was the Missy. Um it was a it was a dope miss nah it was a later jump. I feel I um it was Leah John made by Timberland. Um, what else? I put it in the description. And um, what else? It was um oh when Snoop signed No Limit, he put out a single with them called um, I don't the 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 chorus went like matter of fact I think it was something like DPG or something like that but. We remade it in PFL, and to be honest with you, at that time, there was people rapping to other people's beats, but there wasn't too many people um, remaking somebody's song, like how you seen um, later on in the mixtape game when you seen people just, just taking people's beats and just basically taking their chorus and, and re- Re remaking the whole the whole song. So um yeah me and Kai met my man Steve and Steve just happened to be mixed. I couldn't make mix it up. Steve was from Jersey though. He was from Wilmington. Bro, shout out to Steve. He's in Florida somewhere. Last I talked to him, Kai said he got in touch with him. Um, Steve always been thorough boy. Like, you know, we used to chart his house. His sister was thorough. Um, his sister was a little bit older than her boyfriend, Rat. I think his name was like Demetrius or something. But um, yeah, man, we go that far back, and we were whack. Just keeping it real, we were whack. It's we were whack as all fluff. <laughs> I swear to God, we're the wackest. But um, people would clown you back then when you stepped into a cipher and you spit some weak stuff. Like it was just, it was different back then. And, uh, now you know, you just put some stuff on on SoundCloud, and if you get a couple comments of people that you don't like, you just delete them, and you just. You know, take the comments off and just let it rock. Back then, you actually had to go in front of people and spit your your verse. And then, if they had a a young pit bull with them, you might have to be there and go back and forth five rounds with this dude. And <clears throat> I remember the first person that um in the industry that that I um. Bradford was boy name was um D Money or something like that. But the reason why this happened is because um I was looking in the yellow pages for record label and I would just blow every Philly International, um every label that was out back then I blow up the, um, their phone. There was no cell phones at that time. You know, if, if there was, it was the old Will Smith jump. But, um, so, I'm calling Beat Down Records nonstop, leaving messages on, on the answer machine. You know, every rap that I write, I'm spitting it on the answer machine. <laughs> oh, man. The boys have had them so to this day. But, um, this is what I had to do to get my skills up. And um, so even with that, all right, I stopped rapping with Kashim. Kashim, you know, went on to start playing ball. And, you know, he stayed in the Jersey life. 
and uh, I kind of moved more towards, well, I did move to Philly, and, uh, you know, and I started going to South Philly High, and uh, walked in sober, came out really high, and, <laughs> and uh, new track coming, by the way, back down to that EP, but, um, Even in there, I remember, but even before that, when I go to get my hair cut at Goldie's, if you remember Goldie's on 27th and Dickinson, um, we were patching the race up, the race getting patched up. It was just like, because me, my man, AK, who I did the spam for spam with, my man, um, a Rap, who... He needs to get on an episode so we can tell these BMF stories, man. Because if not, man, I tell them without you, bro. I mean, they're popping right now. So I got to get that episode out, bro. But anyway, um, shout out to my man, a Um, Who else? Um, my cousin. Um, um, a couple other people. So... We we were right, but we weren't that nice. So when we would record stuff, bring it around Goldies, you could just tell by the facial expressions and the yo put something else on. <laughs> that's that's all that, that had to be said. And you kind of knew. I remember a couple times I had to sit there and get a haircut after they turned my joint off on the first song. Like yo, <laughs> not it. And, um, but that didn't make me go running hard and, nah, I ain't no more. They, nah, that shit made me go harder. And really, really look into my craft and look into uh, what I need to do to, uh, to impress people. Like, you know, I'm saying what was... You know, of course, you want to see what's, what's the hottest stuff out. And Philly was on fire because this was Bean's first, when he first came out. Major figures when he first came out. And um, I'm talking about, even, I was rapping before Eminem even came out. Before I heard about Eminem, I was rapping. And um, that's why I always hate it when they say, like, yo, you... And then next time I know, nah, I'm the first mate, like, nah, but anyway, um, so, I had to go through different rap names, because, you know, you, you don't know, because the internet wasn't, we had AOL, but you couldn't search to see if somebody else had your rap name that easily, you couldn't just Google and see, like, so, I remember my rap name was Arsonist for the longest time. And then Dipset came out. Right before MySpace came out. Or right around that time, that whole era. And, um, <laughs> what the Heat Makers, what's the producer's name? Arsonist. How does he spell it? Just like I spell it. R S R, capital R, lowercase case F O N I S T. Dang. I got a new name, right? I'm booked at the time for, I'm down for a robbery. First degree on robbery. Not proud of that. That's why it's to learn as you grow podcast. Because I learned from that. I was 21 years old. That was the first and last time that I ever went to state prison. Ever. And um, knock on wood, um, hopefully it stays like that. Um, what else? Pardon me. All right. So, I walk into prison. What's the first thing? People like, yo, where you from? Philly. What you rap? I'm getting back. I was in Jersey. I was in Jersey with all the boys from North, North Jersey and Newark and Patterson and all them. Shout out to them, Jersey City, all that. And um, shout out to all them. But um, 
first thing, like, hey, you from Philly? And then they see my style. So, I I probably asked somebody first, like, yo, who raps? And they be like, yo, my man, he raps over here, this my man, like, he, he's from my hood. Mind you, I'm out, I'm out of state. I don't know nobody in this gym. Matter of fact, I did know somebody. Because uh, when I went to school out there, my man, Dante, um, Dante and Tiago, we was on the Bluebird and all together. Pause. You know, the Bluebird, we was on the bus to go to prison and all together. And um, that was God right there. Because he was Latin King Duck. I'm neutral, and uh, it kind of gave me a, 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 a crew to rock with. While you know, when we first went to Annandale, we was in College Eight, and people were getting trashed in the basement, and just coming up and just laying in their bunks. <laughs> so the CEO finally <laughs> was like, "Yo, you've been in your bunk for four days, bro. He's scared. He's scared to get up." What's gonna happen? Now he's just waiting to get trashed again. I seen young boy, his braces went through his lips. Oh my god. And he just laid there for about a day and a half. Finally during the count, he was like, I told you, yo, he checked right now. But um uh, claiming blood when uh he, he wasn't right. And that's when I was like, I'm you will not catch me gangbanging. So, anyway, with that being said, I had to battle everybody. Because it's different if, you know, somebody from Camden, a black boy from Camden walked in at that time. We're talking 2007, 2008, around that time. So, it's different if, um, Black boy walks in and talks about he raps or whatever. But when somebody from Philly comes in and that's a white boy, yo, boy from South Philly, he, he spit that shit. I probably, you know, spit a couple bars, spit a little 16 for them, you know, give them a little sample. Yo, he spit that shit. I remember a couple times it was almost riots and he, you know, not riots, but. I'm talking about the CEOs almost ran down and called the called the <laughs> called the code on us for um, just too many people gathered around. So um, when we finally I got a chance to battle the bull, I wasn't even worried about dude. Like I don't. He was uh, he. It's probably about a month. I was probably in for in there for about a month by this time. I didn't already rap with everybody, but it wasn't even on no battle and stuff. It was just on some cipher and it's just like, yo, boy, nice, like, because I really just, even in um, DC, CFCF, wherever, CFCF, usually, I don't even feel like rap. I'm rapped out by that time. DC, you know, you, you might catch me on the, on the, uh, just trying to bid, and, but anyway. I throw a concert in that joint one night. DC, I swear to God, they <laughs> they had the um, trash can upside down. And this is what hip hop is. A, this is the root of hip hop. So when, when I'm out here, um, when I'm out here judging um, other artists, I'm putting my music out to get judged just as well. Make up your show and uh, put my music on there and, and judge it. Shit. <laughs> I, I did a spam with my old music, judging it. So um, it don't make sense to me how people get so sensitive. But uh, like I said, if you send it to my inbox, just expect for it to go on spam for spam. It might not. But it might. You never know. So that's on you. But you know, if you send it to my SoundCloud, there's a big chance 
just to be on spam for spam. So I just don't even want to hear no complaint nothing like that. But back to uh, what I was saying. So dude was was writing for like a month, right? Um, <laughs> we ain't gonna do this. Shout out my pot. <laughs> That's my man. Shout out my pop. That beat's crazy, so we ain't even gonna do that. Um, so dude was writing for like a month. I'm trying to go home for real. Like I'm racked out at that twenty point. Like you know, I'm, I've been in the county at that time for like eleven months. Um, I was in Cray for like a month. Just sitting, waiting to get my home job. I was in College 8 for like almost a month. Now I'm over there in, what was that? College, what is that college? I think it's 10 of them. It's 10 of them. We was in 9 or 10. We was in 9. And uh, 9, 9, 9 was the dogs. I think. We was in one of the crypt rooms. There's two crypt right near the kitchen. We was in one of them. And, um, that was about 15 years ago, and um, dude came up and he had like a hundred bars for me, just like written. You could tell he wrote it and memorized the shit. Um, what? Wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that one. Ain't drop. But that's when I knew that the game was changed. Cause this was just around MySpace era. This was just around FL had just dropped. Um, you know, I, well, I, I didn't start making beats till about a year and a half ago, two years go for real so but anyway um my space had just dropped so people were um trying to get that that look but that whole thing was ending and um as far as um face to face you know rapping like a lot of people would be like yeah i rap like uh, I, I don't rap for free i don't freestyle for free you know what i mean and you be like, who, who are you, dog? Like, who are you? So, I'm going to just say, like, this. Um, I've seen a lot of people on their way up and a lot of people on their way down.